Hello, my beautiful Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for Will They Contact. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? What's currently going on with your person when it comes to to uh, where they stand with you. Obviously, there's no contract. So, and where they are with you in this connection, okay? Will there be, uh, why are they not contacting? What do they want to say to you? Will there be contact and some advice? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Did you go? Let's jump right in. All right, so let's find out what, what's going on with them in the current with you, Gemini. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Gemini. Okay, so they say something is baseless. What's that mean? Okay. the bottom of the deck so apology here reconciling Let's see what else I pick up on here a scythe cards come like I see a scythe it's going like this quick energy quick fast scythes represent for um, Lenormand it can represent shock surprise abrupt decision sudden action let's see so in the current, where do they, where are they with you? They find you very sexy, very attractive. They're trying to be patient here, or they may be getting some advice. What's this about? All right, what's going with Taurus's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one they're in contact with. Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. So the gift card here can say that they want to give you a gift in the current. They appreciate you. Uh, they also could want in the current to give you some type of invitation. Okay, in the current, they also could be talking about they really appreciate you, find you very attractive. Okay, because the Queen of Wands is attractive energy. And um, the gift card is like kind of like the bouquet card for Lenormand. Okay, so, and also if you know, the bouquet card for Norman, Lenormand can talk about beauty and attraction as well. So it's very similar in nature. So this is, it's like, they're, they find you very attractive, very sexy. So let's keep going. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. To see. They feel like they want something to heal in this connection. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going here, Gemini. Your person is waiting. They're, they're patiently waiting. They're given us some time to heal. They've gotten some advice from somebody. They are not sure how to give to, give to the connection, or they want to, they want to give you some kind of gift, uh, some kind of invitation, or um, they really just really find uh, appreciation in you. In the current, they're waiting for the right time. It looks like the divine timing. So. Remember that the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter, okay? But this is also a timing card, okay? In the sense, it's divine timing. And also, when I see the, the Wheel of Fortune for me in personal readings, it tells me that this person, it, from my experience, this person's waiting for the right time. They want the timing to be right, okay? So, because right now, they, there's something about the situation in the current, they don't feel the timing is right. So they want to uh, commit to you, okay? 
with the wife card energy, or there's some type of obligation, or they, they're, um, yeah, they want to do something for you when the timing is right. Okay, so, or just want a commitment when the timing is right. So let's keep going. To give you some kind of knowledge, book card energy. And they're waiting for the right time because they know that there's going to be a sense of happiness here with you and them and a sense of fun, having a good time, spending time together. Okay. Right now they feel like there's some air of mystery or secrets or unknowns. They see you as their main person in the current. They're getting some type of advice about how to communicate here. Also, the that's like kind of like the Empress card energy, a motherly energy, you know, fertility, pregnancy, okay. Um, staying grounded, wanting to give some kind of good advice here when it comes to messages, nurturing supportive messages. So we see so far, what did they see? Okay, so we see that they want to heal the situation by giving you some kind of knowledge of some kind of good advice or receiving advice from somebody. And they feel like they're trying to be patient uh, and bring a sense of happiness here when it comes to this message. So they want to bring happy news to you, okay? Happy messages, happy news. Okay. This person wants to be in the higher ground here to be able to defend their position when it comes to this connection. This person wants is feeling very depressed and feeling upset, okay, about the connection. They're trying to stay hopeful, optimistic here with star card energy. They feel like there's some type of distractions here. Uh, maybe a third party or an infringing party there. Family member, friend. Yeah, they definitely want to spend some time together. The Three of Cups for me is like a friendship or going out and having a good time or there's concerns about a third party. They're waiting on a message here from you. They could be waiting on a message from you or waiting to give you some type of message of, of, of that situation when it comes to a third party because they're at a crossroads about what to do when it comes to people, socializing, going out. So far, I feel like uh, this person may be attached to somebody still, and they're, they're going to try to come forward when they feel like it's the right time, when they feel like there can just be the two of you, because it seems like there's like, like a, a, some kind of infringing party, a family member, a friend, okay, or a karmic here. And uh, they're just waiting for the right time to speak about this. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles talks about single and available to pursue. And they can make some power moves here, gain some kind of control over this situation towards a happy outcome to bring a sense of happiness to this connection. Yeah, when they know that they can present an opportunity, like they have the key to their success here, okay? Because I feel like there's some, some, uh, some confusions about people, all right? And uh, they want to make sure that, yes, they're, they're really clear on this. this is, there is an opportunity here. There is an offer being presented. Yep, we see something about marriage involved with this situation, Hierophant. And money and finance. Going further, they want to be patient for things to come into balance. And so there's these barriers, restrictions in the current. And this person feels like they've been stuck and stagnant in the middle. Like they're stuck in the middle, like they're in a stasis period. Like they, there's nothing I can do until this is resolved. But they're deeply in love with you, Gemini. And there we got that infringing party or karmic. And they're really emotional about you. Okay, so they do have strong feelings for you. So let's keep going here. Yeah, they, they feel like you will be their long-term happiness here, Ten of Cups energy, okay, in the current. You can see they're like envisioning a, a long-term emotional fulfillment with you. Yep, again, it's showing me a person who wants to be single and available to pursue here. And they're stressing and worrying about this. 
there's like a lot of sleepless nights, stressful energy around this situation. But they feel like they want this massive change. They don't want to keep going around in circles with you. They want something to change here and they want this massive change to happen. They want to know that there's an offer, an opportunity. They want to talk to you about this, okay? Because it looks like this, this, the issue right now is there's people involved, okay? And they want to uh, have a sense of fun and happiness here because there's distractions that are causing a lot of emotions here in this opportunity and they're trying to be waiting here because there is this barrier, this restriction, but they want to shock and surprise you with this message. So it's like when they come forward, they want to be like, yeah, this is this happened, this changed, and and now it's time for our long-term happiness. Yep, we see something about this ending here towards happy energy. Going to the bottom of the deck there. Okay. Healing a situation, hopeful, bring things into balance, knowledge of these indecisions when it comes to this infringing party. Advice, okay. Happy outcome in the stress and worry. Right, we see family conflict, commitment, friends. And yeah, be more than just friends because they want to be more than just friends, Gemini. So there's a giving to healing a money situation. We see a wife, an obligation, and waiting for this love. They see you as their main person when you can make power moves towards single and available to pursue. Okay. All right, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, sexy, attractive. Wanting to defend their position when it comes to long-term commitment, marriage, when the timing is right, we see this friend, friendship, and third-party situation stuck in the middle, secrets, wanting to be single and available to pursue, or unknowns about single and available to pursue, wanting long-term happiness, 10 of cups energy. So just bottom line is they want the timing to be right. They want everything to be resolved on their end in the current because they want, it looks like they're attached to someone else. There's some kind of third party influence there and they want that to be resolved and then they're gonna communicate and move forward. But let's see why they're not contacting here. Why is Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, why is Gemini's uh, love interest, the one they're in contact with, why aren't they contacting Gemini at this time? Show me cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so right now, they're in a defeated energy. And there's a loss here. And we see having to be patient. Something about Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Waiting around for something. For success and happiness. And Tower card talks about major changes. We see something about this money and finance situation or effort because of a third party situation or working towards that third party ending. Yep, exactly. Okay, exactly, exactly what I said. Okay, so what did they wanna to say to you? What did they wanna to say to you at this time? What does Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, what does Gemini's love interest wanna to say to Gemini at this time? The one they're out of communication with? Show me cards you need to see, show me the cards I need. Two. What do I want to say to you, Gemini? Okay, so they've been thinking about you, been taking a, a break, really doing some soul searching here about love and listening to their intuition about these indecisions. They want to open things up and heal and have a sense of happiness here. There's been some constraints that they want to bring into balance. They feel frustrated, want to argue, fight about the spiritual connection They've been listening to their heart. There's been this jealousy, this uh, envy. They feel like you're the angel of love for them. They want to have a sense of accomplishment, completion, or travel towards you, but they've been confused about what to do. They feel like there's a spiritual path here, and they've been really anxious about this. They've been doing a lot of thinking, contemplating about this contract, this decision, this legal situation, and they feel like it's caused a lot of heartache and sadness. And they feel like that that's, that's the reason why there's been this walking away. We see this money and finance situation and trying to have a sense of happiness here. 
but they haven't been honest with you about the fact that they really want you, that you fulfill their desires and they really truly appreciate you. Okay, so now let's ask about communication. Now, whenever this message finds you is when the timing starts. All right, so let's time it for the next three months. Whenever you come across this message, the message is meant for you and that's when the timing will start. All right, so does Gemini have huge potential for their love interest to contact them in the next three months? Is there huge potential for it? Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. C. All right, Gemini, let's take a look. Yes. Knight of Cups is coming out. Actions of love. World card, yes. Accomplishments. And these regrets. So, yeah, they, they're, they're intending. Definitely they're, there's a huge potential for communication. And actions of love and this accomplishment, completion of these regrets from the past. Let's go further. Yep, good news and love. We see contemplation about emotions. And the Magician card is going to show that they're going to have all the tools that they need. It's an ideal situation here. All right. So let's get you guys some advice. So what should Gemini do at this time when it comes to their love connection, for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Gemini, your hard work is paying off. Just stay balanced right now, okay? Patient balance. It says balance practically and spiritually. You're going to reach a conclusion here. You're going to see the forest before the trees. Prosperity lies ahead for you guys. It has to be safe for you to love. So surrender to the divine timing on this. So it's going to happen at the right time. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Gemini, you know I want to hear from guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, or you'd like a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.